Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Chair Yoga. I'm so glad we are uh, able to meet together and uh, be able to share a practice uh, together. I'm so grateful for the opportunity to share this practice with you. I hope you find something that connects directly with what you're looking for out of your yoga practice this morning. Good. So we always like to start where we get settled in, where we settle into our chair, sit all the way back, make sure that that seat back supports our back, and our feet flat on the floor if we're able, and uh, those knees just hovering right above those ankles, and just a nice a tall posture. As we find that nice tall posture, allow ourselves to just begin to relax and settle in to this chair. Just allowing our shoulders to relax and roll down and away from our ears. Perhaps we let our jaws relax. Let our hands open up and just our feet resting gently on the ground. And if it's comfortable, go ahead and close your eyes for just a moment as we prepare our minds and prepare our bodies for our practice today. As we prepare and as we get started, we start with breathing in and out and starting to deepen the inhale and lengthen the exhale. And just an opportunity to begin tuning in with that breath just to see how it feels. See if whether it's something that needs to be smoothed out or maybe it's something that's a little bit more turbulent. Maybe something that is not quite flowing like we'd like it to flow and that's okay. We're just drawing awareness to that breath. Now as we continue to breathe, if you've been like me over the past few days, maybe feeling drained despite a lot of opportunity to perhaps sit around and do nothing, or feeling empty despite uh, our lot of physical movement that we've been able to do, whether that's walking or in our house, or just feeling lonely despite a lot of online connection, understand that we are in this together. We are not alone. And we'll get through it. We'll get through it. And so if you're feeling that things are just not going perfectly, forgive yourself for that. And if you feel as if there's times throughout the days where you're not showing as much grace as you normally would. If you're feeling a little bit more frustrated or that fuse is a little bit short, cut yourself some slack. We are learning and we are seeking to find grace. And if you find that you have just little patience, little patience, that you're anxious and that you're agitated and that you're constantly racing inside your mind, allow yourself to just experience the journey for what it is. We're all in this together, uh, but we're all experiencing something different, just like we're all in this practice together, and we'll all experience something a little bit different in our practice. We're allowed to do that, we're invited to do that. And so forgive yourself, and allow yourself to just develop that patience throughout your journey, not only off the mats, but on the mat today. And there's a principle in yoga, a niyama, it's a fancy word for just uh, an observance, how we treat ourselves and others, and it's called tapas, which means self-discipline or otherwise translated as to heat, the word heat. And just a recognition in yoga that sometimes we have to experience things that are challenging in order to emerge on the other side, perhaps a little bit different, perhaps a little stronger, perhaps a little bit better, perhaps with a little bit more clarity or better consciousness. Perhaps it's something where we have to emerge from the darkness in order to see that the light is perhaps a little brighter. And so as we consider that with our practice, we may experience some things today where we're feeling a little heat and maybe translated as a little burn on those legs. And so we find the discipline to persevere. We find the discipline 
to find our own way through that today. Good. Let's continue our practice by scooching forward into our chairs. Sitting nice and tall into our chairs, and let's bring those hands to heart center, and maybe just sort of move those hands a little bit. Just warm up those hands and get started nicely, just like this. Good. And then we'll begin breathing in nice and deep as we fan our arms up to the side. A nice three-part breath. Breathe in as much as you can and connect those hands at the top and exhale to our heart center. And let's do that four more times, developing that three-part, that yoga breath, as we inhale nice and tall and exhale right back to our heart center. And we'll do that three more times. Inhale, lengthen that breath, exhale, right back on down, full extent of that exhale. And let that breath just guide the pace in which we move today. Guide the pace in which our bodies are flowing. One last time right here. Good. We'll be back at heart center. And this time we're going to inhale up. Just shoot the hands up. And then we're going to twist, but we're going to fan the arms out to the side, palms up to the sky. Good. Come right back to heart center. And inhale those hands up. And exhale and turn now to the right. Palms up. Exhale to heart center. Inhale. Shoot the hands up. And exhale and turn to the left. A little bit of an inhale and then exhale. Come right back. Good. Shoot those hands up and to the right. Nice. Let's do that one more time on each side. And inhale left. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale and then exhale to center. One last time to the right. Good. As we exhale, come right back to center. Let's keep our palms together and bring our elbows together now with some energetic breathing. Two inhales and two exhales. So just, and either out of the mouth or in through and out through the nose. Inhale and keeping those elbows high and trying to tap those elbows and hands together. Think of this as a, like a cat and cow pose. So as we inhale, squeezing those shoulder blades together in the middle of our back and exhale, separating those shoulder blades from each other. Inhale, arch that back, exhale, round that spine a little bit more. Inhale and exhale. And let's do it three more times. This time as we bring those hands together, push those hands together like there's a ball that we're trying to emerge through, through those hands. One last time. And exhale. Very nice. Hands to heart center. Let those thumbs rest on our sternums. Relax those shoulders just a little bit. A lot of work on those shoulders right there, isn't it? Good. And now with our legs, keep our left leg right here front and center, and let's move our right leg so we have 90 degrees with our legs, both feet flat on the floor, right knees and toes, pointing to the right side. Let's extend our arms out, warrior two, with those arms. Good. And now we're going to bring our palms as if we're going to give the sides of our walls a little high five, and we're going to begin rocking forward and back. So rock to the right and rock to the left. From side to side. There we are. So a little core strength right here. Stay tall and keep our posture as we rock side to side. And just imagine we're just pressing those hands on the side wall. Again, a little high five for that wall, a little high five for that side of the room. Good. A few more as we rock through here. Just a little something to not only engage our core, but just start engaging our spine just a little bit more. Very nice. As we come to stillness, let's find a reverse warrior now. So flip that front hand and bring that front hand up to the sky. My left hand's maybe on the chair or up on my thigh. Can also just let it drop down towards the floor. And that's a way to get done. And then we're gonna find triangle pose with a bent knee. So exhale and find triangle pose. Okay. So we're reaching, we're stacking those arms, my elbow maybe to the inside of those legs, but that's all relative to each one of us. Good, and let's flow through that now, reverse warrior to that triangle. Inhale, 
reverse, exhale, and all we're doing is just simply tipping our bodies and tipping those arms. And just flow through this, flow through this side to side, okay? Almost a little bit more dynamic side to side movements, a deeper range of motion than what we are doing with those warrior twos in our hands. Continue to let that right hand fall past the leg and just continue to just experiment with the depth and the range of motion. Inhale and exhale. One more time, inhale and exhale, triangle, hold, and then bring that right elbow on top of the leg and that top hand, that left hand, bicep to our ear. Reach nice and high, right angle pose. Good, just hold right there. Just hold and feel the left side of our body. Get a nice, deep stretch. Outstanding. Let's release out of that, and we're gonna switch feet now. We're gonna switch feet. So that right foot's forward, and that left foot comes to the outside, left toes and knees pointing to the left side of the room. Good. All right, arms out, nice and wide. Those warrior two arms yet again, and bring those palms facing the walls. And we'll get that rock side to side. Rock side to side, towards that left hand, towards that right hand. Again, giving the sides of the room a little high five. Starting to just engage through our core and through those hips. Maybe we're feeling something on those legs too, just as we're rocking side to side. I'm feeling something on the inside of, of my left leg. Okay. All right. A few more rock side to side. And then that come to stillness. That left hand reaches up towards the sky. Reverse warrior. Reach in nice and high. Again, that back hand can either rest on the leg, grab onto the chair, or just reach up or, or uh, hang down towards the ground. Take a nice big inhale. And on the exhale, we're going to hinge the other way and find triangle pose. Let that left arm fall to the inside of that left leg. And then we'll begin flowing through this now. Inhale up to reverse. Exhale back to triangle. And just go with the flow. Go with the flow. Reaching nice and high. And then hinging and just dropping those arms. There we are, just tipping over, rocking back and forth. We feel one side of the ribs, and we feel the other side of the ribs, and just flow, flow, and go at your own pace right here. Excellent. So we'll go one more time, reverse warrior, and then one more time, triangle, and we'll hold that for just a moment, and then bring that left forearm on top of the leg, and that right hand overhead, overhead, bicep to the ear, Extend that right angle pose. Good. Just reach into those right ribs, down to those hips. Excellent. All right, let's come out of that and we'll bring both feet forward and step out of our chairs, out of our chairs. Okay, I'm gonna bring my chair and I'm gonna turn it around. I'm gonna face the side but that seat bottom is facing right towards me, okay? Right towards me, and it should face right towards you. Excellent. And uh, I'm gonna take my block. If you have a block, I just set it on the chair so I know where it's at. Let's start our sun salutation. So we'll begin with our hands at heart center, feet about hip distance or a little bit wider apart on the mats. And we're standing right in front of that chair. Inhale, up nice and tall, and exhale, and forward fold. On that forward fold, long spine down, either stop at the chair, stop at the ground, or use that block and set it down on the ground to rest those hands on it. On our next inhale, we'll set those hands on the chair and create a nice long spine, as long as we can, from the crown of our head to our tailbone. Excellent, right there. And take a nice big inhale, and on our next exhale, step back to downward facing dog. Step both feet back and bring our ears between our arms. Pressing straight down the chair with our hands. We're feeling those ears right between those biceps. A great stretch up top. And both feet on the ground, heels to toes. 
On our next inhale, we'll step forward towards that chair. Exhale and bend those knees and sweep those hands nice and tall and right back to heart center. Let's do that again. Inhale, reach for it and exhale, hang on down. Inhale, up the flat back and exhale, step back, downward facing dog. From downward dog, inhale, step forward, bend those knees, exhale and sweep those hands nice and tall. Right back to heart center. Let's do that three more times. Inhale up and exhale on down. Inhaling up to that flat back and exhale, step it back down dog. Inhale, step forward and exhale, bend those knees and just let the pace of that breath guide how you move your bodies today. Good. Inhale up and exhale on down. Inhale up, flat back, exhale, bring it on back. On the inhale, step forward, sink into those legs, exhale, and sweep those hands all the way up to the sky, and exhale right back to heart center. Udomasana right here, inhale up and exhale full, inhale up to flat back and exhale, bring it on back. Good, inhale as we step forward, exhale, bend those knees and inhale, sweep nice and tall, and right back to heart center. Perfect. All right. Let's bring both hands onto the chair now. You can leave the block right there if you want to. Okay, and separate those feet just a little bit. All right, spinal balance from right here. Nice long spine, shoulders and hips square to the chair, square to the mat. Right hand reaches forward, thumbs up toward the sky. Left heel goes to the back of the room or toes. Okay, just lengthening our body from our fingertips to our heel or toes. Take a nice inhale and on the exhale, set that right hand down, left foot down and do the same thing other side. Left hand and right foot, lengthen your body. Again, try and stay as square as we can through the shoulders and through those hips to the ground, to that chair, to the mat beneath us and then exhale down. Let's flow through this a little bit now. So inhale as we reach forward and back. Exhale as we come back to the chair and let that breath guide the pace in which you move right here. Yeah. Focus on that reach. Focus on the length of your body. How long can we lengthen our bodies in this spinal balance? Good. How far can you reach forward? How far can you kick that foot back? And then once you're comfortable with that length, add just a little bit of height as we lift the thumb a little bit higher and the heel a little bit higher. Awesome. One more time, each hand. And when you feel balanced out, set both feet on the ground, those hands right there on the chair below those shoulders, a little soft bend in those knees, and then keep stay right here. Okay, stay right here with that long spine, crown of our head to our tailbone. Bring our hands back by our hips and hold airplane pose. Airplane pose. Okay, so keeping that length from the crown of our head to our tailbone. Just imagining we're sitting on the wall that's behind us with that tailbone. Still a soft bend in those knees and a lot of dynamic stretch into those hamstrings. Now with our thumbs up toward the sky, reach forward and overhead. Okay, if that bothers the shoulders, then don't do it, okay? And then we're just gonna begin pulling one elbow back at a time. So draw one elbow to the ribs and a little squeeze there and extend back out and then alternate to the other side and just continuing to alternate, pulling those elbows down towards your ribs, almost as if you're trying to tap the elbows to the hip bone. Good. A little squeeze between those shoulder blades, a lot of engagements in those core muscles and lower back muscles. Nice. One more time, each arm right here. Good, and then either keep those hands forward or to heart center as we sit down into chair pose. Bring our tailbones a little closer to the ground. Sitting in chair, press those hands together if you want. Feet and knees can be together or separated right where they were at when the, I guided you here. And so you just find your expression of this chair pose. Whew, there we go. So this is some of that heat I was talking about. This is some of that heat. Are we enduring this heat? The one way to do that is to breathe deeply. Breathe in and out. Awesome. Let's set those hands on the chair, lengthen those legs, shoulders right above those hands. I don't know if you're feeling it in your back, but I felt that in my back. 
So maybe just a little bit of side to side movements, maybe a little bit of rounding of that spine just to, just to release that back a little bit, okay? All right. Let's engage in a little bit more core activation, right hand forward, left heel back. So just like spinal balance, but we're gonna go into sunburns. We're gonna tap that right hand to that left knee, meet at our midline or center, and then inhale as we extend and reach back forward and back. Good. Give me a total of five right here. And when we're done with five right here, we'll switch on to the other side. Good. All right. So that left hand's forward, right heel back. And a little connection, inhale on the reach, exhale as we connect in the center. And then just a total of five right here. That's all we got to do. That's all we got to do. Last one. Awesome. Very nice. Let's set both feet on the ground. Inhale those hands up nice and tall. And exhale to heart center. All right, so let's move these chairs around a little bit. So I'm going to face you. So my chair is going to be on my right side with the seat back facing in. Seat back facing in. My block is right there on top of the chair, just so I know where it's at. Just so I know where it's at. Okay, and my right foot comes forward and my left foot back crescent pose. Crescent pose, so that back heel is up off the ground, okay? Let me just turn sideways and show you what that looks like, right? So that back heel is up off the ground, right knee hovering right above that right ankle. Now I've got that chair right here to the outside of my right leg, okay? All right, so from crescent pose, let's just bring our hands to prayer a little bit. All right, so we're gonna eventually end up in a twisted prayer right here and then pyramid. But initially, we're going to lean forward. So just tip our hips forward, keep the depth on that right leg, but shift the weight of our body on to that right foot. And now with our left hand, we're going to place that left hand onto the chair and our right hand onto our tailbone and rotate and face the right side. Good. Face toward the chair. And just watch that those legs are still scissoring toward each other. So nice and strong legs here. And I'm just using that left hand to not only give me stability, but I'm using that left hand to help me rotate, okay? So just be careful not to pull that chair over like I just tried to do. Awesome. Staying deep into that leg. We'll exhale back to center. Right hand on the chair as I lengthen that right leg and step that left foot in. We'll find pyramid pose right here as we breathe in nice and tall. And on the exhale, begin hinging through our hips. Walking down the leg. And I'm going to bring my block down if you have a block or something else. You can also use the chair right there with your right hand. Okay? I can do it on my seat bottom or, or that peg on the leg. Okay, and then we'll just find the spot that works for you in pyramid pose. And when you found that spot, just breathe into it and relax into it. Drop the crown of your head, you can round your spine, and just find the restful nature of this pose. We'll take another two breaths right here. Nice deep inhales and exhales. Awesome. And then we can use that chair to climb right back up and stand tall. Good, we'll take that chair, we'll flip it over to the other side now. All right, so it's on the left side, seat back facing in, blocks on the, I'm just gonna place the block in front of the ground because I know that's where I'm hitting at some point. Okay, all right. Good, so now left foot forward. And right foot back. I'm going to move that out of the way just so you can see my feet. Good. All right. So we'll start crescent pose. Crescent pose. Shoulders, hips square to the front. Back heel is up. Deep bend in that left knee. I mean, you know, hanging onto the chair, releasing the chair just however I feel comfortable with it. Okay? It gives me that stability to have right there. Hands at heart center. We're going to begin tipping forward. Just hinge forward. As we hinge forward, you might even notice that back leg lengthen just a little bit more, okay? And that's, that works well, okay? Still sit back into the heel without the heel touching the ground, but just instead of like pushing up on the ball of our uh, feet, uh, that's where I found myself going with it, okay? So just lean forward, core strength. 
Now, and we're gonna do that twist. So right hand onto the chair, left hand onto our tailbone, and then face the chair, face the left side. Staying as tall as we can, crown of our head uh, to our tailbone, as long as we can. We're still leaning forward just a little bit, okay? So we're not perfectly upright. We're leaning forward because we leaned into this. So it gives that twisted prayer motion. We can also just bring our hands to that heart center if we want. Even set our elbow on that chair. Oh, that wants the tip. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> All right. You know, we just experiment. We find things that work or not. Sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes you don't. Good. As we exhale, come back to center. Left hand on the chair. As we step forward, right foot comes in about a half step. Both feet on the floor. Good. Long spine. Inhale. And then exhale. And hinge. Keeping hips. Keeping shoulders. Square to where you're facing. Square to the front. And then find your expression of pyramid pose. Both heels to toes on the ground. And then you can drop the crown of your head down round through your spine. And then simply breathe. Allow yourself to breathe. Take two more breaths right here. Good. Then a little bend in those knees as we stand tall. All right. So now the chairs are gonna be right in front of us. I just wanna show this first. I'm actually gonna turn to the side, but the chairs are gonna be right in front of us and we're gonna find a runner's lunge, okay? So, so, so you can see a little bit better, I'm gonna turn onto this side. All right, so hands onto the chair, shoulders over those hands, walk those feet, I'm sorry, take that right leg forward, and then walk that left foot back, okay? So that right knee is just, just right in front of that chair, but it's also hovering right uh, above my right ankle. And again, that left heel is back up off the ground, you can clearly see that, okay? From here, we're gonna find twisted low lunge, and then we're gonna flow a little bit. So left hand pressing straight down to the chair, that shoulder stays right there, right hand reaches up toward the sky, inhale and hold. Let's hold initially. Again, think about those legs scissoring toward each other, strong legs. Don't let those legs get soft and just, just kind of open up into this. We gotta scissor those legs toward each other. Keep that strength. And then let's add a little flow through this. So as we exhale, bring that right hand underneath the left armpit. It's a little core engaging right there, squaring up hips and shoulders. And then inhale back up to the sky. Do that four more times using your breath to guide your pace. Exhale on the way down. Inhale as we lift up toward the sky. Great stretch up top. Getting, a, getting more of that motion, that rotation through our spine, good spine health. All right. And then that last time we'll find runner's lunge. We'll find runner's lunge. Perfect. Okay, stay right there. I'm gonna switch over to the other side. I'm gonna switch over to the other side just so you can see this. From that runner's lunge, I still have my right foot forward and left foot back. I didn't change anything. All I'm gonna do is open up now to warrior two. So right foot stays right where it's at. Just set that whole left foot down the ground perpendicular to that right foot. And then bring those ears over your shoulders, over your hips, arms out nice and long. There we are, good. Now, we're gonna find a right angle pose. So we'll breathe in nice and deep, and that right hand, or forearm either to the leg, or just set that right hand on the chair, back hand up towards the sky, and if you want, bring that bicep to the ear, reaching nice and high. Good. Extending that right angle pose. Breathe through this. Use that chair. You can use that block on the floor if you want to go deeper. So exhale back to warrior two. And now triangle pose. So lengthen that front leg, still a soft bend in our knee. Reach as far forward as you can. Reach, 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 reach. Then tip over again, hand to the chair, back hand to the sky. And we can always extend triangle pose, taking that left hand nice and high overhead. And 
just nice deep breaths into this. Feel the pose through the breath. We feel more from it as we breathe in deep, deeply and exhale. Good. Let's find warrior two. All right. All right. Very nice. We're going to face right back in front of that chair again. Face back right in front of that chair. And we'll find runner's lunge yet again. Okay. This time, left foot forward, right foot back, and both hands on the chair. Okay, left foot forward, right foot back. I know maybe side to side might be confusing you a little bit, so I'll continue to say it that way. So our right hand's gonna stay pressing straight down in the chair, shoulder over that right hand, inhale our left hand up toward the sky and hold, twisted low lunge. Again, think about those legs twisting, or not twisting, scissoring toward each other, okay? Don't let that left knee get soft or those feet get soft. Gotta keep the nice dynamic tension of those legs going toward each other. And now let's add that dynamic exhale. Left hand underneath that right armpit. Inhale up toward the sky. And that's right four more times. Exhale and inhale. Good. Just moving at your own breath's pace. Inhale and exhale. Good. And last time, wherever you're at, of course, you just finish your five, and we'll come back to that runner's lunge. Okay, and just so I don't turn my back on you, I'm gonna to turn to the other side, stay right where you're at, stay right where you're at, left foot still forward, right foot still back, and we're gonna find warrior two. So ground that right foot on the, on the, that right heel on the ground, lift up, find warrior two. Perfect. All right, there we go. All right, nice long arms in that warrior two. That left knee's right in front of that chair. And let's find right angle pose as we breathe in deep and then exhale, either that left forearm to the leg or that chair, that hand onto the chair. Back hand nice and high up towards the sky. We can also keep it on our shoulder if that bothers our shoulders. And if you want, extend right angle pose. Bicep to our ear. And breathe. Breathe in to those ribs. Expand those lungs to expand those ribs. Awesome. Exhale back to warrior two. Lengthen that front leg. Begin reaching as far forward towards that chair as you can. And then tip over triangle pose. Tip over triangle pose. If you want, extend that triangle. Bicep to the ear. Just create that length. Really reach into the top side of our body. Feel through those ribs and down through our hips. Very nice. Exhale, warrior two. Awesome, all right. Very nice, we're gonna keep the chair right in front of us. Okay, I'm not gonna move it around, I'm just gonna leave it right here. So your face in the chair, seat bottom facing towards you. We're gonna go warrior one and into warrior three with this. So our right foot comes forward. You're gonna set your hands onto the chair. Glue that whole left foot on the ground, but that left foot's pointing a little bit to the left side of the room. And then we'll find warrior one. Okay, squaring up shoulders, but bringing our hips slightly, slightly forward. Let's find warrior one. Okay, and from warrior one, Let's drop those hands back by our hips and let's lengthen our spine as we lean forward into this. Lean forward into this. We're gonna find warrior three by way of spinal balance. So hands onto the chair, left heel lifts up off the ground and then take our right hand, thumb up toward the sky, reach it up and then our left hand if we wanna release the chair altogether, both hands off it and that right hand's right there. Otherwise we can experiment with using those hands onto the chair the bottom or the top, okay? Key point is we have it right there if we need it, just like that block, okay? Breathe through this, hips and shoulders as square as we can. Squeeze through those glutes and lower back and then exhale and release. Awesome, good balance right there. Good challenge on the legs. 
left foot forward, right foot back, right foot hole on the ground, and pointing off at an angle to the right side. Hips slightly coming forward, but shoulders squaring up. Find warrior one. Stand and nice and tall initially. Let's bring those hands down by our sides now and lean in. Create that length, crown of your head to your back heel. Good. And then warrior three by way of spinal balance. Again, hands to that chair, lift that right heel, and then begin with that left thumb up toward the sky, then that right thumb up toward the sky, and find your expression of warrior three. Again, if that means you're setting the right hands down, that's okay. Or the right fingertips down. That's okay. So I got that block right there. I can set my hand there. Bottom of the chair, top of the chair, as long as I'm pushing straight down. Okay. Now either way, we're practicing something and we're doing something good for our bodies. Yeah, there you go. See, I just wobbled out of that, but that chair was there to help give me some stability. All right, we can all come out of that now. Excellent job. Excellent job. All right, so let's bring those chairs to the right side, to the right side. Okay, and then we're gonna bring, we're gonna do a little balance here. We're gonna bring our right knee up. So our left foot will stay on the ground and our right knee will stay up, okay? Now we're gonna open up to that right side, okay? So where this chair can come into play, we can initially just stand on that right leg, bring our hands to prayer, and just open up. Or we can bring our hands to prayer and just hold on to that chair with that right hand as we turn and rotate. Okay, turning towards that leg that's lifting in the air. Go ahead and practice this with me. So I've got that chair, I have a tendency with that leg up, we all have a tendency with that leg up to lean that way, to fall towards that chair if we're gonna fall. Okay, two more times. And last one. Mm, all right, very nice. Let's set that right foot down. Let's bring that chair around, other side. And just position it to where you know where, where it's gonna be. Okay, left knee up, right foot stays on the ground. Again, hands up to prayer, and then my left hand's gonna open up and point behind me. So either onto the chair and I turn, okay, or just behind me and point to the back of the room. I just tap my toe down, see? Cut ourselves some slack, we don't have to be perfect, right? That's right. Good. Reaching back and forward. Excellent. Last one. All right, let's set both feet down. Good job on that balance. Let's bring that chair back to original position and take a seat into this chair. All right. From here, just a little bit of a knee to chest. Right foot stays on the ground, grab onto that left leg either behind that knee and just pull it up there, or in front of that knee and lock those fingers, and then sit tall into the leg. Sit tall into the leg. Yeah, that's just a nice stretch into our hamstrings and glutes, connection into our lower back. And heck, while we're here, let's take that left leg and let's cross it over our right leg. And then squeeze those legs toward each other. And we'll move into eagle pose as we bring both arms out nice and wide to the side. And then set our left elbow into our right elbow. And either give ourselves a hug, bring the back of our hands together or our palms together. And then whenever we found those arms that we like, we bring those elbows up just a little bit higher. Keep squeezing on those legs and keep lifting those elbows, stretching between those shoulder blades. Now, if you want a different feel to this, we can set our eagle down on a perch. Just lean forward and set your elbows down on top of those legs and really sink into this round 
through your spine and breathe into those ribs. A little perched eagle. Good. And then even use those legs as a little something to give a little bit more of pressure onto those elbows, just to lift those elbows a little higher and help you get a deeper stretch. Ah, oh, it feels so good. That's pretty awesome right there. And exhale as we come back and then release. Didn't necessarily want that one to stop. Oh, that felt good. Left leg on the ground, right knee up. Okay, and then sit tall, knee to chest. Sit tall and breathe. And while we have the leg right here, let's just continue it on cross, sit right over. Perfect, squeeze those legs together as much as we can. Arms out nice and wide. And then set that right elbow into the left elbow this time and find your expression of those eagle arms. You know, a little hug back in the hands or front of those hands and then elbows rise up. Big deep breath here for a moment. We'll sit tall. Ooh, there's a spot right behind my right shoulder. There's something I feel right now. Hopefully that's working it out. And let's go ahead and perch our eagles now. So you just set those elbows down on those legs. Allow yourself to sink into this. Just experiment with what this feels like. Last breath, and then exhale and release. Very nice. Let's sit all the way back into our chairs. And I want to guide us just through a little temple massage. So let's take our peace fingers and apply a little pressure to our temples. And let's start drawing little circles on those temples. Just a light pressure, but enough to where you know something's happening. Place those peace fingers with your thumbs and just keep the pressure on your temples with your thumbs and then take those peace fingers and bring them right to the center of our brow line and apply pressure there's a little pressure point right there just apply a little pressure keep the thumbs it's a little pressure in those peace fingers a little pressure then from those peace fingers bring them back and just paint your eyebrow line with those peace fingers back to your thumbs and continue to do that four more times. Keep it a good amount of pr uh, pressure, if you will, just to where you feel it, not too much, not too hard. And when we're done with four of those, let's go ahead and make sure we're sitting nice and relaxed and settled into our chair. Feet flat on the floor, knees hovering above those ankles. Maybe hands on the legs or palms up toward the sky, but nonetheless, those hands are not carrying fists. They're just relaxed. If it's comfortable, eyelids resting on the eyes and just a natural everyday breath. Just allow ourselves to find a little bit of calm, a little bit of rest as we've worked, as we've built up heat and we've had the discipline to persevere through. It's always good to settle Allow the body to settle. Allow the body to get out of fight or flight mode, get into that restful state mode. And that's some of the value of yoga is the practice of compassionately taking our body into that fight or flight mode and restful state. Practicing our ability to do that so that we have a lot of consciousness around 
when an event occurs, giving us the ability then to meet those challenging situations with a little bit more patience, with a little bit more grace, with a little bit more forgiveness. I've got a closing message for us. I'm going to grab my note real quick so I can share it and make sure it's accurate for you all. So grateful for the opportunity to share this practice with each and every one of you today. Allowing us to mature our practice. Allowing us to discover our practice our way. And how we individually can pursue and cope with the challenges that we face. Our closing message. How you climb up a mountain is just as important as how you get down the mountain. And so it is with life, which for many of us becomes one big gigantic test followed by one big gigantic lesson. And in the end, it all comes down to one word and that's grace. It's how we accept winning and losing, good luck and bad luck, and the darkness and the light. I honor the love and might in each of you as it's also within me. Namaste.